Oh, hi. Shh, my kids are sleeping. My kids are sleeping. Hi, my name is Stacy Long and I'm a single parent. Wait, 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 wait. This is not supposed to sound like a opening to an overcomers meeting or a PSA. This is our teaser for a docuseries titled Solo. Me and my DP, co-director, Eddie Daniels. We have set out to capture the stories of single parents today. Solo is a bi-weekly series, much like MTV's True Life and Teen Moms, but it's not a reality show. It's a cinematic documentary. We will spotlight one single parent story and the following week, it will be a follow-up episode on the same family. My name is Tanika Archer. I'm a single mother of one son, 12, year old, 12 years old. His name is Isaiah. We, we in the car, and this car pulled up on the side of us. And the car had a guy inside and a little kid, a little boy. They were jamming in the car. They listening to the music, they laughing. So my son looking in the window, and he got quiet, and I said, I said, are you all right? He didn't say anything, so I said, are you all right? I know something wrong because his eyes got glossy. So I said, I know something's wrong. What's wrong? He says, um, nothing. Then he turns to me and say, why don't my dad love me? As a parent, as a mother, it was so many things that I wanted to say to him, you know, but being the person that I am, I told him, I said, it's not that your dad don't love you, he just don't love himself enough to know what he's missing, you know? He loves you, he's gonna, you know, he loves you, and I don't want you to feel that, you know, he doesn't love you, he just don't know what he's missing yet. Once he loves himself, then he can find a way to love you. But that hurt me so bad, and I could not share that with my friends because, you know, I didn't want them to be mad at the other person. Like, you know, a lot of times you shelter stuff because you don't want the reaction of your friends and, you know. My name is Brett Lockwood. I'm 30 years old. I have a daughter, Haley, who me nine in a couple weeks now. One struggle, a specific example I can remember with her growing up was what to do with her when in public I needed to use a restroom or something, you know, I'm gonna jump into a gas station bathroom and what leave her outside while I got to do my business and <laughs> I remember it was this most awkward thing just have to bring a baby into this filthy ass bathroom and just stare at the corner don't touch nothing don't move your hands don't make a sound just sit there and stare <laughs> you know I got to go help myself and you know men are coming into the bathroom they got to go too and Man, that was just one of the awkward things. At least as a woman, you know, you can bring her in and the women in there, they all expect the same thing. You could even bring her into the stall with you, but as a man, that was just one of the funniest, most awkward examples of a struggle that I had to deal with. I mean, I know something as simple as that, but how do you handle it? I don't know. <laughs> My name is Anna Guerrero. I am a single mother of one eight-year-old girl. I became a single mother at age 30. What happened first is that I became single when I was three months pregnant with my daughter and I decided to move to Boston to stay with an aunt of mine to seek services in Boston and because I was told that in Florida they, the services weren't that good and I didn't really want to you know, live with my family for too long so I figured if I could go over there and get some services I could get back on my feet a little faster and I did that. To be able to do that, unfortunately, you had to not only show that you were needy of, of government help, but you had to be in a state where you were basically homeless. So I had to move into a shelter while I was pregnant, and I had to live there for a few months until they would provide me um, assistance. My name is Falani Clark. I am the mother of one daughter, Sanai. She is 10 today. 
I got pregnant when I was 21. Uh, and a uh, tough relationship. And uh, we broke up before I actually had my daughter. So I've been a single mom since pregnancy, really. One of the things that was tough, um, I was still in school when I got pregnant. And at the time that I was in school, I knew that though I was finishing this degree, it wasn't enough. It wasn't what I wanted to do. And I've always been this person with big dreams and I, I wanted to be in an unconventional um, profession. You know, this video, film, art profession. I'm a, I'm a starving artist and that's okay when you're by yourself, but when you have a child, it's a whole nother story. So, um, and especially being pregnant and by yourself, it's, um, it's weird. It's like, do I go forward? Do I do this? And for a while, I stopped uh, because there was, I couldn't, I was by myself. I had to support myself and now this new little baby. And, um, so I got a job at a call center and even that had its hardships because I was working 12 hours a day and I have a newborn baby. So um, it's rough. It's, you know, and then making the decision to come back to school. Time is a large factor when you have kids and you're by yourself, you know, so um, that, that's definitely a struggle, time, because kids need so much time, and you're the only one, really. Her father has never been very present in her life, so truly, I'm the only one. My name's Jose Mercado. I'm a father of two daughters. They're two years apart in age came for one summer and decided they didn't want to go back to their mother where they were staying previously. The oldest one stayed with me first and the second one stayed with me three years after that. Yeah, I had, I had help from, from my family when it came to girl things. Uh, so I had my mother and my sisters help me with them when it came to that kind of, you know, girl situations. So in that part, I had it good because I did have my mother and my sisters to help me out. But besides that, I, I did everything else. I worked, I got home, I cooked, they cleaned, we cleaned. So it was, it got to be a tight unit that we put together uh, when they decided to stay with me. My name is Stacey Long, and I'm a single mother of two. I have a five-year-old son and a nine-year-old daughter. The struggles of being a single parent is overwhelming. A lot of times I feel all alone. I feel like people don't understand. Sometimes I want to tell them, please, walk a mile in my shoes. Um, I've encountered so many different obstacles with the kids. My son, at six weeks old, he was in the hospital with meningitis. My daughter just recently was in the hospital with inten in intensive care all the way through to all the holidays, Christmas and New Year's. And just being the only one there by myself, dealing with all of this, still having to worry about how I was gonna pay the rent, how I was gonna pay the light bill. My car broke down on the way to the hospital and still having to have that smile and be strong. It, it's, it's trying. Some days I wanna give up, but um, giving up is not an option. And I realized that I can't be the only one struggling. So I, I wanted to make this documentary to find out is a struggle.